Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the questions, uh, multiple choice questions and answer from the topic uh, uh, that is T junction, uh, E plane junction, H plane junction and magic T, attenuators, microwave attenuator, isolator, circulator and etc. Okay, so already uh, I posted uh, the 15 videos for the subject antenna and microwave engineering in a format of uh, this multiple choice question and answer. So if you want to learn means, uh, so you just, uh, I will give the link uh, for uh, that videos in the description box so you can check, okay. Uh, so we will see the question. So the first one is the H plane T junction is dash. It's a three port device, two port device, four port device, one port device. The H plane T junction, it is a three port device okay so h plane t e plane t both the, these two h plane t and e plane t is a three port uh, device and magic t is a four port device okay so you just remember it so it's a three port device similarly the next one the e plane t junction is it is also a three port device so both h plane t and e plane t it's a three port device okay so the next one the H plane T is called as dash. So the H plane T is called as series junction or shunt junction. The H plane T, it is called as a shunt junction. Okay, shunt junction or current junction. Then uh, similarly, the E plane T, it is called as a, the opposite thing, series junction. The E plane T, it is called as a series junction or voltage junction. The H plane T is called as a shunt junction or current junction. Okay, so you can remember it. Then the next one, in H plane T junction, so which one is correct? So in H plane T junction, S13 equal to S23, S13 not equal to S23, S33 not equal to zero, S13 uh, is uh, not equal to S23. Uh, so here in H plane junction, the S13 equal to S23. So the parameter, the scattering parameter of uh, the 1, 3 value and 2, 3 value, both are equal for the H plane T junction. The next one, a magic T is nothing but. So what is magic T? The magic T, it is nothing but a combination of E plane and H plane T. So if you are combining the E plane T and H plane T, we will get a, a device It is called as a magic T. So the magic T, it is nothing but a combination of E plane and H plane T. So already you know, uh, the E plane and H plane uh, T is a three junction device. This magic T, it consists of uh, one more port. It's a four port device. So magic T is a four port device. Okay, then the next one, the magic T can produce dash, sum and difference of signal. It produce oscillation, only sum of signal, only difference of signal. The magic T, it can produce the sum and a difference of the signal. Okay, so it can produce sum and a difference of the signal supplied to the particular ports. Okay, then the next one, a magic T is used as dash, amplifier, oscillator, mixture, and a filter. So the magic T, it is used as a mixture. So while designing the microwave mixer, we may use this magic T. So magic T, it is used as a mixture and a duplexing operation. We can use this mixture. Okay, then the next one, the impedance can be measured by dash. So the impedance, in order to uh, measure the impedance of that particular line, we can use antenna or magic T, arrays or post. So the impedance can be measured by magic T. So it is a one of the application of magic T. So magic T, it can be used as a mixing operation in microwave receiver, okay, it is used as a mixture, as well as this magic T is used to measure the impedance, okay. So the impedance can be measured by which one means magic T, okay. Then the next one, the separation of each post in a ray trace junction. So the ray trace junction, it is uh, otherwise called as hybrid ring. So in a hybrid ring, the separation of the two port, okay, so the each uh, port, it is uh, which one? 2 into lambda g, lambda g divided by 4, lambda g divided by 2, lambda g. So the lambda g divided by 4. So the separation between the each uh, port, uh, it is uh, uh, in ray trace junction is separated by lambda g divided by 4. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Then the next one, 
the passive elements used to control the amount of microwave power transferred from one point to another on a microwave transmission line is called a dash okay so attenuator isolator circulator directional coupler so you know the directional coupler is a power dividing or power combining in order to divide the power or in order to combine the power we are using the directional coupler but here they are saying it as the passive element used to control the amount of microwave power transferred from one point to another point okay so if you want to control the microwave power we have to use the attenuator so attenuator it's a microwave passive element used to control the amount of microwave power transferred from one point to another point okay so attenuator is the correct answer then attenuator dash attenuator radiates reduces power increases power matches the load attenuator it reduces the power okay so already you know the definition of attenuator attenuator is a passive element used to control the amount of microwave power transferred from one point to another point so that's why the attenuator it reduces the power flow okay the next one the matched load is dash it absorbs incident power transit incident power reflect incident power scatters incident power the matched load it absorbs the incident power then the next device circulator so the circulator is a two port device three port device multi port device one port device circulator it's a multi port device so we can have the three port circulator four port circulator and so on okay very commonly used circulator is a three port circulator and four port circulator but generally the circulator it is a multi port device okay so generally it is a multi port device and the next one a circulator is a three port network that allows energy flow in clockwise direction only so the statement is true or false so circulator uh, circulator it is a there is a two port circulator is also there three port circulator is also there okay and uh, it uh, allows the energy either in clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction okay there is a two type of circulator is there clockwise circulator means it uh, transfers energy in clockwise direction anti clockwise circulator means uh, it transfers the energy in a anti clockwise uh, circulator okay but here they are mentioning that allows energy flow uh, in clockwise direction only so it is a false statement so circulator it's a three port device that allows energy flow in only one direction okay so but either in clockwise or anti clockwise counter clockwise okay so that is depending upon the circulator type uh, the next one the diagonal elements of the s matrix of an improperly matched circulator is zero so the statement is true or false so the diagonal elements that is for a improperly matched circulator the s matrix value okay the diagonal elements of s matrix is zero so the statement is false okay so why means if it is a uh, the three port circulator it's not a properly matched means so some of the power is reflected back to the particular port so that's why the diagonal elements will not be zero the diagonal elements of the s matrix will, will not be zero so the statement is false okay then the next one circulator are created by uh, which one so we may construct circulator in two methods okay so the circulators are created by two wave guides two magic t two transmission line circular wave guide the circulator are created by uh, one thing is two magic t so using two magic t uh, with one phase shifter we can construct circulator and another way is to uh, construct the circulator is that we have to use two directional coupler with a two phase shifter okay that is another one combination so here using the two magic t we can uh, create a circulator the another one method is that using two directional coupler with two phase shifter we can create direct circulator okay then the next one dash is a two port non reciprocal device which produces a minimum attenuation to a wave propagation in one direction and very high attenuation in opposite direction so which device so dash device 
uh, which produces minimum attenuation in one direction, very high attenuation in another direction. So which one? Magic T, isolator, circulator, directional coupler, isolator. So isolator, it's a two port uh, non-reciprocal device. So isolator is a two port device. Two port device, which produces minimum attenuation in one direction in a very high attenuation in opposite direction. That is called as a isolator. So isolator, it is also a very important microwave passive component, okay. So already we discussed uh, so many uh, microwave passive component, directional couplers, uh, then uh, E plane T, H plane T, magic T, then uh, attenuators, circulator, isolator. These are all the important microwave passive elements, okay, used in the microwave field. Then the next one, the isolator is made up of dash. The isolator is made up of non-ferrite material, ferrite, silicon, germanium. The isolator is made up of ferrite. Using ferrite material, we can construct the isolator. Then the next one, ferrite is a dash. High resistance magnetic material, low resistance magnetic material. It's a conductor or insulator. Ferrite is a high resistance magnetic material. Ferrite is a high resistance magnetic material. That's why this ferrite is used in order to construct the isolator. Okay, microwave isolator. The next one, ferrite is used in dash. Isolation, amplification, oscillation and attenuation. The ferrite is used in isolation. Okay, so ferrite, it is used for uh, producing the isolation. Next one, the isolation has no unit, unit of power, unit of voltage, unit of current. The isolation has no unit. For isolation, there is no unit, okay. The next one, twist exists in dash. So twist, it is also a one of the microwave passive element. So this twist exists in transmission line, waveguides, filters, active devices. The twist exists in waveguides. So in waveguides, we may use the twist, 45 degree twist, uh, then some angle, uh, different angle twist available in a microwave component, okay. The next one, the isolator works under the principle of Faraday rotation. It's a true or false, it's a true. The isolator, it works under the principle of Faraday rotation. Okay, it's a true only. Then the phase shift is dash, uh, not a function of frequency, uh, a function of frequency obtained from resistance, obtained from magnetic material. The phase shift, it is a function of frequency. Phase shift is, it is a function of frequency. Then the next one, the Faraday rotation produces isolation, circular properties, matching properties, transmission property. The Faraday rotation produces circular properties. Okay, the Faraday rotation produces circular properties. The next one, in Faraday rotation, polarization is changed Plane polarization is changed to elliptical polarization. Circular polarization is changed to elliptical polarization. No change in polarization. So in Faraday rotation, the plane polarization is changed to elliptical polarization. Okay, this is the correct one. Then the next one, which is used in circulators. Okay, resonance observation, magnetic properties, ion resonance, Faraday rotation. So the Faraday rotation, it is used in circulators. The next one, the microwave filter consists of, so microwave filter, it is also a uh, microwave component. The microwave filter, it consists of one cavity, more than one cavity, LC lumped component, RLC lumped component. The microwave filter, it consists of more than one cavity. Okay, more than one cavity. Then the next one, Probe is a dash. So probe is, it's a short antenna, filter, amplifier, oscillator. So probe is a very short antenna. The short antenna, it is used as a probe, okay. So these are all the, some of the uh, questions about uh, the important microwave com passive components uh, like a directional, uh, that is the directional coupler already we discussed in the previous video. So here the E plane, uh, H plane <coughs> and the magic T, then attenuators, isolators and circulators.
Okay, so these are all the some of the important the thirty questions from this uh, microwave passive component. So thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos. In the next video, we will meet. Okay, so thank you.